So why is putting yourself first so difficult for some people? Is it, you know, maybe you don't want to let down people you're in a relationship with, people at work, you know, family, friends, you know, it's obviously an important thing to do to put yourself first, but why do some people find it so difficult? That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about kind of the struggles that people face, you know, why people should put themselves first, but how to do it in a way without it being obviously selfish and obviously neglecting the people around you. But it's ultimately understanding how important it is preserving your energy, the things that you want to do, the life you want to live. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about today on the Tom Gilbert Show, people. I hope you're all enjoying it. We are episode three. This is just me talking about things I like to talk about in a way I like to talk about it and just my experiences, my life, my stories. And then obviously, eventually we'll have some people on here. But at the moment, I want to get in a routine of just talking to you guys, one-on-one. Me and you, your eyes and ears and my mouth and mic. (laughs) <laughs> right, <clears throat> we are caffeinated, we are hydrated, we've been to the toilet. Whew. Let's get this going. So, putting yourself first. This is something that I feel I started learning quite early on. Um, I'm, I'm not like one on really kind of reflecting back on core memories and stuff like that, earlier bits of childhood. I know how obviously things can really affect people. I like to think of things a little bit more recent, really. You know, like when I started learning how to be responsible for myself, you know, even if it was just like, you know, getting to that point of an age where I had to buy my own food, pay for my own bills, you know, um, cook my own food, manage my own routine, take myself to school, university, put fuel in my car learning that I had to, you know, I had to be there for myself. You know, obviously, yes, earlier through lives, you know, stuff like that, you have your parents and family and people around you there to support you. And that, I feel, that's great. Obviously, we all need that. Uh, you know, we wouldn't be here without it. But there does come that kind of changing point where it's like, right, well, I need to start putting myself first to get through life and uh, live the life that I want to live, you know, rather than being molded down a path that maybe, you know, someone else has got me on, uh, that's in line with someone else's goals. It's like, all right, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of autopilot now. I'm, you know, you come out of school, college and everything like that, uni, start doing work and that for yourself, like putting yourself first within within work within relationships within health within your friendships you know because there's certain kind of environments you can get really 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 stuck in <clears throat> you know people who struggle to kind of move past a, a certain phase in their life that they know they should um, just because they are afraid of stepping out of a certain group uh, certain responsibilities and it, it can be a struggle for them because the reason I think this is a big thing is obviously I speak to so many people on the daily uh, through work, like obviously working with people as a personal trainer that should be putting themselves first a little bit more, but they struggle because they let work, you know, overbear them. They let certain friendships and relationships put too much pressure on them. They may have kids and family, which is totally understandable. That's a responsibility in itself. But how can we put ourselves first without neglecting that? Because there's certain things that obviously we can't neglect, i.e. kids. But we can step away from certain work responsibilities. We can step away from certain friendship groups if we feel that they're not allowing us to be ourselves. Or if we feel like, you know, we've, we're done with that season. You know, because there's, there's some people like um, that get stuck in like, say, I'm not going to say stuck. Oh, there are there are some people who get stuck in the same friendship groups. Like, and I, what I mean stuck is because they maybe don't want to be in that friendship groups. There's obviously a lot of people who maintain very long lasting friendship groups because those friendship groups grow together. They are on a you know a similar trajectory. They understand each other um, and what they wanted to do. And there's some friendship groups that do that very 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 well. But there's obviously some people who get stuck in those groups or stuck with. I'm going to say it's certain family members and stuff like that, whatever it is. And they're afraid to kind of step out and do their own thing, put themselves first. And they end up neglecting, you know, their own health, their own mental health, their own life, their own experiences, all because then they're just afraid to put themselves first. They're afraid to to kind of step out. You know, some of my kind of <clears throat> earlier but still quite recent experiences of it is in like relationships. We've all probably been there where you're in a relationship with someone and it's getting to that point where it's like, I know that this ain't working 
and but then it just gets dragged on. You're you're afraid to step away, to step out because you're comfortable. You're comfortable in that routine. You're comfortable. That's what it is. It comes to in a routine. You're you. It's not that. It's not bad enough for you to move on. Okay. You know you're afraid of how that person may feel if you move on. You know what's going to happen or what what's life like without this. You know even though it may be pretty shit. It's like hmm. Am I ready to do this yet? And we've already all experienced that because that's, again, a very, 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 you know, common example of where people need to put themselves first, you know, to prioritize themselves moving on in life, living their own life, preserving their energy, putting their energy into what matters, you know, putting their energy into where they want to grow rather than, you know, maybe trying to cater to the needs of others that probably aren't going to be like in their life for much longer obviously not going to die but uh <laughs> people that they should probably move on from and i i see this in a lot of clients who are you know that i've that i potentially work with and have worked with that have have stopped themselves doing things they want to do because of a relationship you know obviously i'm in the realm of health and fitness and i have worked with a lot of people who want to be able to look after their health more you know, their nutrition, their training, their their lifestyle, but they're in a relationship or they're surrounded with people that don't allow that to happen. It just is a difficult environment for them, okay? They, they find it difficult to kind of manage their own things because of how some other people may live their life or perceive what they're doing or may not like what they're doing. And it becomes difficult difficult for them to work towards their own goals. They then feel held back. There's bits of resentment there. They're sad in their own their own hand because they can't do their own shit, or because of an environment or person slash people that they surround themselves with, but they know they need to move on. I'm sure if you think hard enough, you can either think about some people in your life that's potentially been for you, or you know someone who's potentially in that situation. And it's not a vibe. It's not a vibe at all because people feel like it's like, right, I'm wasting time here. What do I do? Or people just feel like they're just stuck in like limbo. Like it's like Groundhog Day. Like, oh, I don't really feel like I'm going anywhere. Um, There are fixes. It's just, we all know them. It's those scary things that you, you have in your mind that you know you should do. You know the path you should go down. You know the band-aids that you need to rip off because there's going to be a momentary bit of pain. You know, maybe in in certain areas, and but you know, at the end of the day, that's what's going to be better for you. You know, it's 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 a reason you get like so many relationships like that will go on from like school, right? And you'll get people who carry on this relationship from like school or uni or college or something like that, and they'll get into like thirties and forties, and then they'll end it. You know, they'll get like so many years of just like things being built up. They're like, no, can't do this. And it's just like, boom, like a relationship ending out of nowhere. Uh, it doesn't even have to matter on age, but you you get people all of a sudden bite the bullet and they're like, no, right, need to go do my own shit and get it done because they they just aren't happy with the, the group that they have around them and they have that light bulb moment of what they need to do. Now, I'm not doing this podcast to be here like <clears throat> you need to get rid of the, your friends around you. You need to get relationships around you. No. I'm not about that. I think you need strong friendships. You need strong relationships, okay? You need you need to be caring for the others around you and you need people who actually generally care for you, okay? That's the premise of this. You, you need an environment that supports you as well as an environment you can support. The person you're in a relationship with, the people you're friends with, okay? People need to respect you. You need to respect them, okay? You need to be able to have your own growth in all the areas that matter to you. Okay, that's why I'm speaking so broadly with this because there's so many different areas. Your health, your wealth, your own personal growth, your activities, your own friendships and relationships, okay? Your experiences, your lives, you traveling, like doing all these things that you have to have an environment that allows you to do the things that matter to you. It may be a few things. It may be a lot of things, whatever it is. But you also need to be able to respect those in your life so they can do those things as well, whether it's a partner, whether it's your kids, whether it's your parents, whether it's your colleagues, you know, there's a big things, you know, work is another big aspect for people. There's so many people who get into job roles that then they just become 
institutionalized in, you know, and all they end up doing is, you know, it's, it's, it's going for that paycheck. It's going for that next promotion. And it's like, you know, a constant treadmill act and just looking for that next run on the ladder. Or for some people, it's literally just like going through that Groundhog Day, the same stuff over and over again. Now, I know some, pe- some people will like that routine. This sec- section of the podcast is not for those people who like the routine. If you generally, generally, generally are happy in your routine and it's the similar stuff every single day, fucking fantastic. I'm very, very, very happy for you. That's what I'm like. But we all know that there are people who have routine. And I've been there. Okay. You have routines and structure and cycles of things, whether it's in work, in work with colleagues and stuff like that. And you're just not happy with it. You've been there for months, years, whatever you feel like it's been all your life. And you're like, you don't know anything else because you just, all you're doing is you just keep turning up and you're working for someone else's goals, someone else's ideas, you know, a big corporation, you know, you're, you're doing all these things that aren't for you and it takes up your Monday to Friday, nine to five or even more, you know, and you do it because it's easy. You do it because it guarantees your money. You do it because that guarantees you have a roof over your head, you have food, you can pay your bills, but that's all it does. That's all it does for you. And obviously then in your mind, there's that resentment. It's like, right, well, I'm doing all this stuff and it's not really giving me that it's not really filling those voids, filling those holes that you want to be doing for yourself, your own personal development, your own learning, your own passions. So if you're someone who's kind of in that position, I understand how it's difficult because you've got all these things, especially if you've got a family. It's like, oh, I need money to come in. Okay, I need to be able to do all these things because if I don't do that, well, then my quality of life's going down. It's going going in the can. And that, that is the, the scary part of like, putting yourself first and putting your passions and goals first, you know, it is going to kind of be a ripping off a band-aid kind of thing to do it. But you know, later down the line, as long as you continue to put yourself first and continue to support those core people around you, you're going to be okay. But the thing is with jobs, obviously we need the money. So how can we get more money? You know, if you're in positions where it's like, uh, job is the thing that's holding you back because this is a common thing that I hear of a lot of people if you're in that position you, you gotta probably look at sacrificing a little bit of time for yourself somewhere else so you can then start maybe transitioning that income to something that's more passionate and enjoyable for you whether it's you know taking a a, a zero hour side job that's more interesting to you that's more fulfilling whether it's helping people making stuff whatever it is whatever your kind of you know passion is and you're trying to transition your income. So let's say, you know, you need X amount. You gotta find something else that can replace that. Whether it's another job, whether it's another side hustle, all you gotta do is look at where you can kind of add in something else. You know, whether it's sacrificing a little bit of social life for for a year or so. You know, it, it's it's not gonna be a quick process, but if you're really, really, really in a rut. And you feel like, oh, I've been in this job for so many, so long. It's like, I need to transition out of this. I need to figure out something else that can, because this, I don't want this to be my life. I don't want this to be the thing that's just, you know, I'm just going to be stuck here. I'm, I've am i been very fortunate because I, you know, started, obviously, I found what I really love to do quite early on. But I mean, my example of it is I was, you know, in like, I was in the industry I'm in now, but I was in a, sec- in a in a place where I wasn't able to grow. I wasn't able to do the things that I wanted to do. I wasn't able to work my kind of lifestyle and routine. And I was very fortunate because it got to a point with, um, if you watch the other podcast I told you about with the lockdowns and stuff like that. And I had an opportunity to to move away from this place and work somewhere else. And my, you know, and but I when going into this new place, I had to go completely self-employed. And so I did that, went completely self-employed. And when there was an opportunity to go back after the lockdowns, my choice was like, all right, do I go back to a guaranteed income, guaranteed hours, guaranteed clientele, but I'm, I have to work a certain amount of hours. I have to, my my money is quite, is capped because obviously I have to work hours for someone else. You know, I can't really live that lifestyle and routine. Okay. Or do I go down the route of, you know, everything is now on my back, you know, but it's uncapped. 
It's my passion. It's it's everything that I want to do. You know, both were industries that I was comfortable with in, comfortable with in. Obviously, it was the same industry, but uh, this self employment side allowed me to be the own boss, schedule my routines, you know, set the goals, make the income, work with certain people I wanted to work with. Okay, so when it got to that point, and I, you know, could choose, it was like, well, it's either now or never. Like, uh, you know, I know I'm young. Like, got all these things, got so many more things to learn. Obviously, I'm speaking from my experience so far, but when it got to this point, it was like, well. I might not get this choice for a while. So let's do this now. And if all else fails, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. I can't think about like a plan B because I need to put all my all, all into this. So we did that and that's paid off. That has paid off and is paying off. I get to work with so many amazing people, get to set my hours, uh, earning more than it was with the other job. It gives me more fulfillment. Okay, and it got to a point where like there was a moment of choice and it was a scarier choice. But I knew it was the right choice, and I did it. Again, going back to relationships, you know it can be a scary choice to leave a relationship and start putting yourself first. Say no to someone. Say, I'm done. It's over. I need to move on. It's a scary choice, but you know it's the right choice. You know it's the right choice. So you do it. You do it because you know you have to. Again, this can be so much uncertainty. That's life. I don't know what the next fucking hour of my life is going to bring. I don't know what the next day of my life is going to bring. I know, obviously, the core things that I do, but there could be things that come up. You know, that is life. Life is full of uncertainties, okay? But it's like, you know, I didn't really want to go through that for much longer. I'd been in this other role for about five years. I didn't want another five years of it. I didn't even want another year of it, let alone even a few months. So I was like, right, well, I've got to do this. I've got to do this now because it's sooner rather than later. If I start now, it gives me more time to work on it, Okay. Like, the, the sooner you do, do something and make the changes, the better. There is never a right time. Things come up and it gives you an opportunity to step out of that comfort zone. you got to do it. you got to do it. But like I said, and like we all know, it is scary. Changing work, changing relationships, moving out of friendship groups, you know. It's got to be done. I've, I've had many conversations with um, people who feel that their family hold them down. Okay, you, you can't choose your family. You can't. You don't choose your parents. You don't choose your kids. You don't choose your, your family around you. Okay, in the weirdest sense, you do become institutionalized to your family. And there's a lot of people who, as they grow up, or they, as they have kids grow up, they actually realize that they're not, they're not quite like their parents. They're not quite like that. And they're, or they're, they're very dissimilar to their kids. So naturally, people drift apart which is normal, okay, you can't expect people to be exactly the same, some people, like I said, work very well on relationships and stay that, and because they have that as a core value, then some people just move on and with their own life, and, you know, let their kids do whatever they want, and have touch base every now and then, some people never touch base again, some people don't really speak to their parents, but like, that is normal, I think should be deemed normal, because, you don't have to stay with in that relationship and stuff like that. You don't have to. It's not something you definitely have to do. You know, I'm very fortunate. I've got very loving parents and I've got a relationship where we we see each other. You know, as I've got older, I've done my own things. Like I feel very early on, I was, you know, even from day one of like secondary school, taking myself to school, doing all that kind of stuff. You know, I've very, I feel I became very independent, um, but I still know that my parents support me, still love them. That's the relationship I have, but I'm not someone that has to be around them as much. I don't I don't need support, but I know they support me. And again, it's like it's like a spectrum. Some people need a lot more, some people don't. Like you just have to figure out what works for you. And like I said, your friendships and that around you because there can be some people who are just dragged through life. Their parents making them do something. The person their, their partner making them do something, making them, you know, take certain jobs, move to certain places, you know, do things that they don't enjoy doing. Like, that shouldn't be life. It's yours to do what you want to do and, and go in the way you want to do it. Obviously, you can, and you can have people who can support you and, and you can, you shouldn't, you know, neglect, you shouldn't uh, be opposed to support, you shouldn't be opposed to education, 
but you have to like all the information you take for say like social media say even me talking about all this kind of stuff i'm obviously talking it from a place of my experience and my beliefs but you need to take all that stuff and you need to package it up around your life as a core this stuff shouldn't become the core it should be like we're thinking in like a spider's web right it's you in the middle of this spider web and then everything else that you want is what's branching off of it you know your passions your career your friendships your relationships it shouldn't be other things other entities other people coming in and replacing your core and then just you're left to the side you know because then you then you're just like a um <clears throat> then you're just like i don't know a robot or you just whatever <laughs> you are you are just a, a, a vessel for this other person's ideas and goals um because then you just get stuck you just get stuck like i speak to uh, again in the health and fitness space i'll have conversations with people who've uh maybe you know in their late 30s 40s 50s and stuff like that <clears throat> and all they say to me or the main thing the main premise is is they've neglected themselves they've neglected their health They've neglected their, you know, routine, the things that they want to do. They used to love training. They used to love working out. They, they used to love eating healthy and stuff, having a routine. But they've neglected it because they've let life take over. They've let, they've let life and other... When, when we say life, it's obviously not everything, but there's certain things in their life that are now in the driver's seat. It should be you in the driver's seat. It should be you in the driver's seat all the time. You're determining what to do. You are the captain, Okay. Yes, you have some passengers that you may have to cater to, but ultimately, you are the captain, okay? You fucking got the hat on, okay? So, <clears throat> I speak to so many people that are, they're, they're either the co-pilot or they're fucking, they're in, they're in the baggage, just, just waiting, just waiting aimlessly, no, no clue on the destination, no clue where they are, they're just, they're just there, and then obviously some people have these moments of realization, they're like, <gasps> Oh my God, I have no clue what I've been doing all this time. Like, I've lost myself. Uh, I need to get back to that version of me that I wanted. I need a new version of me. All because they just let someone else in, someone else or something else in the driver's seat. Because at the end of the day, it's got to be what you want. It's got to be what you want. Like, allow yourself, like I said, take influences from others. But if it's not what you want, then what's the point? What's the point? Unless you're like, I think, I think the only, the only other side to this, two sex. I need a drink. I didn't realize I've been speaking for straight for 22 minutes. I get really heated in these things. Um, I'm sweating. Um, I think the only other side to this is if you're not going to be putting yourself first is like in a, in a parent's sake, right? You, there's some parents that have maybe gone through life and they got to a position or some people have gone through life got to a position they have kids and they're, they're struggling with their own passions and their own ideas and then obviously kids come along and i think there is a choice because you can you can either go all in it you can obviously have your your balance with what you want to do and your kids but i know there's some people who really struggle to do it with kids I'm not experienced to this, okay, this is just conversations I have, all right, um, and what I see, and what, you know, like I said, conversations I have with, you know, lots of people, um, but I think if you're at that point, you could just put all of your life into, into your kids, and just make sure that they get the best, you know, they get the best energy, that could be your reward in nature, that could be, you know, I feel that's a, a good place where you're not putting yourself first, okay, you're just like, right, you're just accepting you're done <laughs> and you're just like, right, every inch of you, every ounce of your energy and soul, whatever like that, you're just going to make sure that your your children have the best upbringing, okay? I think that's uh, an example where people kind of can just let themselves, they can't let themselves go, but people just have to accept it. But there's then after that, what do you do? I think I think it's a really, you know, I got, I got things obviously after experiences I go through life, but um, I think it's a... Uh, it's just an ever-changing jigsaw, to be honest. I, there's there's probably not an answer, hence why I'm just like you know we're just going back and forth in this conversation. But uh, it's 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 I think it's something everyone 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 should think about quite a lot because it's like, what do I want to do? 
what is my what does my life look like you know am i happy with where things are at now where do i ideally want them to be you know what am i trying to work towards what's my passion what's my goals you know where do i want to live how do i want to live how do i want to feel you know and then around that is like who do i need to support where do i want to work who do i want to invite into my life like these are all big things and it's a constant pushing and pulling game that there's pro there is no right answer for it but apart from what makes you happy and what gives you purpose within your life at the end of the day because like the reason i think i talk about it, i i i feel like uh, this is a very important topic is because it is upsetting when you see people who know they've let themselves go and know they want to be back into a certain like position in life but they just they just something that's just holding them back they're just something that's not bringing themselves to do it and when you see you can see that pain in someone when they're talking or you can see that pain in someone's lives and they're just like stuck you know whether it's a mate who's in a relationship your mate that's your colleague or something like that it's your partner you know and it's like mm. It can be it can be quite frustrating for yourself because you just want to like shake them and make them do it, but also you know it's like you know it's not that as easy as it is. It takes baby steps. It, I mean, it doesn't really. For some some people, it'll be baby steps, and some people it's going to be like right, fucking, let's just go. Like I said, the example of just you know just randomly just leaving a job, leaving a relationship, you know, moving a different country. Some people do shit like that. And I think that worked fantastically. But some people need to make like little little baby adjustments, minor adjustments and things things to do it. But uh, yeah, it is interesting. It is a very, very, very interesting topic because you see so many people who just lose themselves in life. And it's it can be sad to see. It can be sad to see, especially when it's the people around you. And especially when you realize that it's you've you've lost yourself, in a sense. So... Let's cheer this up a little bit. Put yourself first because you're all amazing. You're all beautiful. You can't fill up the buckets of those around you if you don't fill up your buckets yourself. You've got to, you've got to put yourself first. It's one life. It's one life, people. I know we all know that. But like whether it's in work, relationships, your health, your wealth, whatever it is, like learn to make yourself numero uno, as Arnold would say. No one else is going to do it. You know, all other people do is take, take your energy, take your money, take your time. You've got to bring that back. All right? I love you all. Learn to love yourself. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, review, wherever you're watching this, okay? Or listening to this. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.